Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Tangled Before Ever After. This is a sequel, a little short movie. Uh, it's barely an hour long. It's like 58 minutes long. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit of a sequel to the original film. Uh, it's done in a very different animation style. Uh, it's more uh, 2D... 3D to a certain degree, not really, but uh, it's very 2D. It feels a lot sort of like uh, someone like Kim Possible, I guess, um, series animation. So yeah, it's uh, it's just a return to the uh, characters we know and love soon after the events of the film. Uh, Rapunzel has her short hair, uh, unlike what you see here in the in the background, but that should be a hint of things to come because what's Rapunzel without her long, flowing blonde locks? So uh, basically, she's getting ready to be uh, coronated as the princess of the uh, kingdom. Uh, Flynn, or Eugene, depending on how we see him, uh, is is there the whole way, uh, played by once again by Zachary Levi, Shazam, and Chuck. Uh, Mandy Moore plays uh, Rapunzel again. And uh, you have Clancy Brown as her dad, uh, Julie Bowen from uh, Modern Family as her mom, we have, oh, there's tons of little guest voices throughout. Jeffrey Tambor is in this. Drew, uh, uh, blah, blah, what's his name? MC Ganey is in this. Sean Hayes. Diedrich Bader. Jeez, uh, there's just so many. Uh, and Deep Bat Bradley Baker also has a voice in this, too, of course. Uh, he does a billion voices. Um, I think he does, he think he does the lizard. What's his name? Uh, but whatever, uh, he's, there's tons, all the original voices are back, but there's some new characters here that I don't recognize, maybe I should, um, she has, uh, basically, uh, Rapunzel has a lady-in-waiting, who is all sort of buttoned down from all appearances, but she's got a bit of a snark, and she doesn't really like Eugene that much for, as she says, for, not just for Rapunzel, but for anybody, so, it's, it creates a cute little dynamic between the two of them, how they just do not get along. Um, she's She has Rapunzel's best interests at heart, it seems. Uh, not spoiling anything there, but she uh, she has a little bit of a, a wild streak to her, and she gets, uh, when the pressure of every all the expectations of being a princess start to close in on her, on Rapunzel, and it, it makes her feel as trapped as she was when she was up in the tower. Um, she can't go anywhere without supervision, without guards, uh, tasting her food for her, or just keeping her at arm's length from the people of the town. Uh, it's starting to drive her a little uh, stir-crazy, a little cat. Gets, she gets a little cabin fever. So, um, for some reason, though, her, her, her uh, lady-in-waiting, Cassandra, uh, decides she's, first of all, she is not the button-down character she appears to be. Like I said, she's a little bit of a wild child. She takes off her very conservative outfit, and she's got this, like, kick-ass leather adventurer kind of gear. Uh, she's she's a male Flynn. She's like the Flynn that Flynn wishes he was. Um, but without the cockiness, she knows her stuff, and uh, so she takes... Rapunzel out on an adventure with the horses, and uh, of course they get in a little bit of trouble, which leads to the reason why that uh, comes into play. And the weird thing about this, uh, well, there's a, a villain, a new, another villain is uh, is uh, introduced. Uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Lady Kane. Lady Kane. Uh, she's got a female protagonist, uh, not protagonist, antagonist. In, uh, in this movie. Uh, but again, it's just when it starts to get really going, it ends without much resolution. Uh, that certain things do happen. Some big things do happen. And it's it kind of leaves it on somewhat of a cliffhanger. Um, and it leads into what I imagine is the uh, the official series that follows us up a, few, uh, a year or so later. This is from 2017. And I think the uh, the series. Let me see if I can find it again. Well, yeah, I don't know. It's it's it's, it's a series, but uh, a series comes soon after this, and uh, and I think it follows up with these character, the, these uh, these storylines and everything else uh, going out. And I I actually really like this one. It's uh, 
again, it has all the voices. Uh, it, it, again, it doesn't have the animation that uh, you know it for, but it, it's not bad animation at all. It's actually, it's, it's kind of fun. Uh, it just doesn't have the flexibility of the, uh, of the original. So, uh, yeah, you can tell that they had to save a little bit of money rather than spend huge money. Otherwise, it would have made a full-on big movie. But I think there's more story to tell in the series that comes after this. So I might actually, when that this eventually gets picked for me, I'm going to eventually definitely dive into probably the entire series because I like these characters, um, I like these stories, so it's uh, it's fun. As long as, uh, as long as the actors stick with it. I don't know if, if they make it to the series. They, they should. Why not? It's, you know, Mandy Moore, Zachary Levi, that's what matters most in, in this. So... Uh, and uh, I think they made a good team. So, yeah. That's all I can really say about that, because uh, I think if you're already a fan of uh, Tangled, uh, you're going to really enjoy this, especially if you like the characters. And it's got a lot of good action. Uh, there's a big, scary uh, action sequence where the girls are on the run from a uh, certain death. And... Uh, yeah, it, it leaves you hanging on the edge of your seat as they uh, escape uh, whatever's coming after them. Uh, I won't say anything more, uh, but it, uh, it all ties back to the hair and the history and the magic of, of it all. So here we go. I think we're going to pick tomorrow's Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. 7.59. Ooh, That's, that might be the highest number we've had yet. Considering we only have 768s, but 759 is the highest we've ever had. And hello. Uh, hello, Fox Acquisition. We are in the X's, if it doesn't give you a clue. Ladies and gentlemen, 659 is X-Men Evolution. It's time to watch some X-Men Evolution. All right. I'm excited. Are you? Uh, let me know. Maybe tell me some of your favorite... If you've watched this, uh, tell me some of your favorite episodes. Maybe I'll watch them if you say it fast enough. If you post them fast enough, tell me which episodes you'd prefer me to watch. If not, I'll just watch whatever I want. Hmm, yeah. I'll uh, see you tomorrow then with X-Men Evolution on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. Bye-bye.